Hello and welcome to another new episode of Learning Simplified. In our previous tutorial, we had learned about how to install WordPress into our project. In this tutorial, we will know how to build up the theme in our WordPress project. This is the theme of this project. And as you can see that there's a lot of activities out here, like, like this is the post here and it is in accept condition and there is a continue reading box on clicking which we will be reaching to the full length post content right over here and uh, this is the menu bar there it goes and there goes the project right over here this is the about us contact us services so each and everything out here and in additional we can see that we have used separate forms from Google Forms into our project. But this is not the last one. If we press here, Control Shift M, we can see that this site is practically mobile responsive. That means we have infused Bootstrap with our WordPress project. So this is a large thing to cover in this whole tutorial videos. So let's proceed. First of all, we will be building up our theme into our project. We'll be creating a new theme into our project. And currently this is our project here. And currently it is using the default 2020 theme as been specified in, in WordPress. Now in our previous tutorial, we had created our root project here, experiment WordPress tool, inside which we had installed WordPress and this is the login credential as we can see here so if we copy it get back to our project first of all type in this wp admin to log into wordpress dashboard this is the username and here goes the password and if we now log in we can see that this is the admin dashboard panel now currently, if we get back to this appearance tab into this main menu panel, we can see that there's practical, this is the themes here and we can see that currently there is no added theme created by us. We may create some add new theme from here, but we won't be doing so. Instead, we will be getting back to the project, to the root directory of the project and here, this is the WP content we will be clicking in and inside. This is the themes folder inside which we can see that this is the 2019, 2017, 16, 2020. So all those themes, those were used right over here. You can see that this is the 2020 default theme. There goes the 2019 theme, 2017, 2016. So each and every themes, those are present right over here is actually being controlled from this individual directory of themes inside which all those themes have been created. So this is the directory inside our root project folder where we might create our own template. So that is why we will be creating a new folder which will be naming as for say WordPress Theme. Now we have created our own theme right over here. We practically haven't created anything. All we did, we just created a new folder which is blank at the present moment. We can see that this is entirely blank. Nothing has been created right into it. So if we now get back to the admin dashboard panel right over here, this is the admin dashboard panel and this is currently the site. So into this appearance segment so far there's been no such trace of the folder that we have created if we now reload we can see that there goes the name of the theme that we have created this is the boot press theme and what is being told right over here that the style sheet is missing so there comes the second thing that we need to do in the very first case, we will be needing an index.php page and the most important of all to register the name of the theme into WordPress, we will be needing a style sheet. If we get back to this text editor and if we open folder 
and here we have created this so that is why we will be selecting this folder here and we can see that this is the project this is the text editor so right click create new folder inside we are creating this index.php page in the very first case and in the second case we will be needing another style.css So there goes the style.css which is required in the present context. Now one thing that I need to point you that we haven't placed this style.css inside any definite folder or definite directory. But first of all, just create these two files inside the folder that you have created in an effort to build up your theme. So we have created both these pages here, this index.php and style.css. If we leave it up to this far, and if we get back to our project and reload, we will see that the WordPress theme is right now appeared into our project. So one thing is clear that without any style.css file, you cannot register your theme into the WordPress site, into the WordPress project that you are currently working on. So the basic thing in the first case, we need the index page and then the style.css. And in the next case, if we look into this theme detail, we can see that this is the name of the theme that we have applied into our folder, into our directory, but there's no such version or who created it or why it has been created. So we need to register all those things right over here. That is why we will be getting back to our project. And in the first case, we will be creating the theme name. We are registering here practically the theme name, which is known as WordPress theme. Next, the other it will be us the other uri that comes next then comes the version Of course, the version should be 1.0. Then comes the tags that you want to use like this WordPress Bootstrap and there are many things like this. You may add uh, any kind of tags as you wish. Let's go to view and toggle the word wrap and you can see that everything comes under a single window. Press Ctrl S. Now let's put on some description. So we have created everything inside it. We have created this theme name. We have created the author's name, the author's URI, version, tags of this individual uh, WordPress theme and description about it. So everything has been presented here. Let's press Ctrl S, get back to your project and reload. And now if we get back to this theme details, we will see that each and everything those we had entered right over here is been displayed into our uh, WordPress theme, such as the name of this theme, which is WordPress theme, the current version, which was set to 1.0 by whom, and a little description about it, and all those tags, those been provided right into it. So everything has been provided right over here. Now, if we get back here, and if we activate, we can see that the current active theme is WordPress theme. And if we now get back to the site and reload, we can see that nothing has been displayed right over here. As we haven't provided anything white into our this index.php. 
So that is why nothing will be provided by this far. If we get back to our text editor and for say if we put this particular tag like this hello cruel word phrase here into this h1 tag and if we get back to our project and reload we can see that the same thing will be displayed here as this is the index page of our particular wordpress theme that we have created by this one so the basic things those we have learned so far in this tutorial is the first thing we need to get back to our root directory of the local host server that we have created here this is the root directory www and inside we have created this folder which is known as experiment wordpress and here we had installed wordpress right into it now inside this wp content folder inside this themes folder we have created our own theme wordpress theme and so far we have provided these two individual files we have created these two individual files right over here like this index.php and this style.css and style.css is the most relevant part most essential part to activate the theme and inside this style.css all we did we just registered each and every details regarding our theme like the theme name other other uri so everything will be registered right into it and so far we can see that in this index.php we have just provided a single code with an h1 tag and nothing inside it so this is the part up to which we have learned into this tutorial stay tuned for the next video in the meantime subscribe us like our work comment on us so that's it for today's tutorial in the next tutorial we will be learning how to build up our index.php and how to loop our posts into this index.php thank you